Okay, now that we've finished diagram A, we can move on to diagram B. The supplies that you will need are your quarter watt resistors. You're going to need two 1K ohm. You need one 2.2K ohm, one 39K ohm, and one 4.7K ohm. Here are the resistors that come with the kit. And the way to tell the resistors apart is that they're all color coded. They have four bands of color and they all end with a gold band. And so pretty much what you do is you hold them so that the gold band is at the bottom and then you can read what their colors are. A 1K ohm resistor is brown, black, red, and gold. There's two of them in the kit. There they are, the two 1Ks. Then we have a 2.2K ohm resistor, which is red, 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 gold. That one's very easy to tell because it's all red except for the last band, which is gold. Then there's a 39K ohm resistor, which is orange, white, orange, gold. That one's pretty easy to tell. And the last one, the 4.7K ohm resistor, is yellow, violet, red, gold. The yellow is hard to see because it's almost the same color as the, as the color of the resistor. But if you can tell the other ones, you know the last one is your 4.7. So if you look carefully, you can see the yellow band, and then a violet band, a red band, and a gold band on the 4.7. So that's how you tell them apart in the kit. The kit has it all written out for you as well. So that's that. Now, the next thing you need to know is how to deal with them. The resistors have a lot of extra wires so that you can cut them off to any length you need, but they tend to be a little bit longer than we need for this kit. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can, uh, you can cut these. Some people like to cut them so that they're perfect, that the whole thing lays down on the board perfectly. Or you can just bend them like a, like a hairpin and then cut them off even. And that's what we're going to do for this kit. So I'm going to show you that technique. You ready? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. What you do is you hold your resistor so that the gold band's on the bottom. And you take the top wire and bend it downwards so that you have this hairpin kind of shape. But your hairpin is not going to be even. You're going to have to take your wire snippers and you're going to have to clip them even. And there it is. So now, your resistor can go onto the breadboard and the wires are the same length and you can see what's there. You might want to shorten it, whatever you want. You might want to shorten it so that it's just goes in the breadboard nice and snug. And it's about a centimeter or a half inch. That's how much depth it goes to. So, this is a 1K ohm resistor. Brown, black, red, gold. The very first step is that that one, this 1K, goes from A2 to A10 on the breadboard. So from A2 to A10, we're going to make this resistor fit. So I'm going to put one end to A2, and I'm going to grab the other end of my pliers. I'm going to bring that to A10, right there. I'm going to push that in. And it's going to lay down just like that. So from A2 to A10, I now have a 1K ohm resistor. Nice and snug in place there. Now the next 1K ohm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold it so the gold's in the bottom. I'm going to bend the top over so it becomes a hairpin. I'm going to cut it even with about a half inch of wire. It'll fit into the breadboard. Once I've got this cut, the second 1K is going to go from G8 to J9. And those are kind of close together. So G8 is right there. And then J9 is right there. So your resistor will be standing up a little bit. Now if you want it to be perfect, you can always cut it until it fits perfect, but I always tell people don't cut too much at first. 
you can't lengthen it. 